What's up everyone, today is Monday, May 4th at 8.27 a.m. Gonna do a video watch list today. Uh, so for those that don't know, I do a free video watch list every Monday on YouTube, and then I do a video watch list basically every day or every other day for the members in MIC. So this is kind of like your sneak peek into seeing how we kind of run things here. So let's get started. First things first is it's Monday. Remember, Mondays are my worst performing days, usually because I am so excited to trade. I'm so over eager to trade. I'm so overly anxious to trade that I have a bunch of FOMO entries and I kind of get in too early. So every Monday I kind of try to take it a little bit slower uh, just to make sure that I'm kind of sticking to the process and doing things right. Starting Monday off good will set the tone for the entire week. So I want to be very, very, very careful and very proper today. Um, also, I'm going to do a YouTube live recap of all my trades at 11 o'clock today. And I do that every Monday uh, as well. So let's kind of get into this watch list. MDGS, this was the hot chick of the day on Friday and it kind of tanked, it kind of gave back the entire move. So if you look at this here, previous support should act as resistance, but honestly, this seems like it's too high. So what I'm waiting for, honestly, in the morning is kind of like a push towards this 340, 350 level. I know it's really far away, but on something like this, I'd rather miss it then get in kind of too early and get trapped so this is what i'm looking for the way out of the lines 340 350 maybe even 370s if we get there myo there's a low hanging fruit just popped double topped here and never really came back once it went under view app so what i'm looking for in the morning is i'm looking for kind of like a morning push towards this 480 ish level right and this five level five is kind of the whole number mark so it should act as resistance MIST, this one I'm kind of looking for a push towards four, which is the whole number mark plus red to green. So that should give ample enough resistance, but also watching this kind of 420 line here as well. APDN, let's go over this one, guys. Notice, so a couple things to make note of here. Every time it pops, it kind of gives back, pop, give back, pop, give back. But, 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 let's look at some stuff. APDN, you can see float is 2.9 million right 2.9 million and it traded 1.2 million already pre-market and it has ssr so this is a day one hot chick ssr low float float rotation so what that tells me is who cares avoid it on the short side uh, so for me personally i'm not going to look to touch apdn um, maybe maybe if it tanks under nine and then we could get a bounce maybe but it's Monday, so I wanna take the lowest risk, high reward trades to help my mentality and help my confidence going into the week. So APDN will take attention off my other plays like ANIX. So ANIX kind of showing its trend pre-market. I mean, hopefully we get a pop towards 3, 310 in the morning. Um, and that should basically be it, guys. So um, let me think. So what I do at the end of this video is I wanna do kind of like a secret word. So if you made it to the end of the video, uh, today's secret word is going to be um, red pen. So comment that in the video, comment that in the thread, and that'll kind of confirm that you guys made it to the end of the video. So see you guys at 11 for a YouTube live recap. And if you have any questions about trading, hit up Tosh at 213-458-5997. Later.